Think they know about Junior? Maybe. I want you to take care of it. We gotta find him before he gets his throat slit. Yo, where are you at? There's no going back. Hands up, stay police! Think it's going down right now? You know where Junior's at? What do you think? We're getting down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. This was episode seven of High Town. We only got one more episode left. And I hate it when they do that on these first season pilots. They only order like eight episodes. This show has been really, really good. And I must admit, that theme song is growing on me. I almost oh, want to good. start singing it. No, you don't. Okay. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do our top five what the F moments in review of episode seven of High Towns. Really, really getting good. If you're finding us for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram. Go and subscribe to Life Game Reviews. We will be putting videos up as we vlog about our baby coming in. And I'm going to be vlogging about being a stay-at-home dad, how to work out, how to make money. And generally showing men how not to spoil a little girl. Now let's get into the first thing. Number five WTF moment. And of course my wife Crystal is here to discuss her points of view. Hello. Frankie kills, what was the Scotty? in jail did you see that coming did you have an idea that was going to do that what'd you think i forgot all about scotty he was in the last episode i know he i mean he served his purpose i guess for us mm -hmm. and uh i didn't really see him as having a big role so it just shows that frankie has still has his hands and things trying to cover up loose or tie up loose ends so that uh he don't get doesn't get in trouble for killing killing uh krista not only that, but it shows just how powerful and connected Frankie is yeah. because the guy that winds up killing Scott, we've never seen him before. I mean, I guess if you're in jail, what is it going to hurt to kill somebody in jail? Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's penalties that come with stabbing somebody in front of the nurse giving you crazy pills. I mean, homeboy just went in there with that toothpick and just said, hack, 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 yeah, hack. They didn't do it on the low. They did nah. it. Everybody could see what was going on. Which lets you know just how powerful Frankie is in jail. And it makes you wonder how powerful is he once he gets out of jail. Oh, he about to use some of that power to get out then. Oh, he about to get out. Believe me, on this final episode, he's going to be getting out of jail. Are you sure? I'm 100% sure. How, how you know? Because I know. I'm an insider <laughs> when it comes to these shows. Okay. You know your husband, know. Number four WTF moment. Renee finds out that Officer Sabaho most likely is just treating her as a CI when she goes through his pockets and finds that receipt from the play. Mm-hmm. But first, let me say this to y'all. Anyone know somebody got your nose wide open if they snipping your clothes when you're gone? That's how you know somebody got your nose wide open. Mm -hmm. And her nose was wide open. <laughs> yeah. What did you think was going through her mind when she saw that receipt? It, she probably felt like she was being used. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. And I still don't know if she's truly being used or if he's, or if like he has her, fallen for it. It yeah. might be a combination of both. Well, I think that it's still a combination of both because before he left, he broke down and told her something that a lot of people would have avoided. He said, yes, in the beginning, I was using you as a CI, mm -hmm. but then I found something in you that, that I could still be game. What? It can still be game. Well, he is Officer Saberho, uh -huh. and they did show that flashback of him and Sherry. Uh -huh. And Sherry was talking to him in his dream while he was sleeping next to Renee. Mm -hmm. So he uh, might be trying to reel Renee back in. He might be, but my fear here is Renee is the chess piece on this one because she was trying to distance herself from Frankie. And now that her emotions are torn up, she feels like he's playing her, that might push her to go back to that life of dealing with Frankie, Frankie and she might become more of a um, inside person for him. Might be. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. um, but either way, don't kill Renee. We must keep Renee on the show. She plays the hell out of a stripper. That's all I got to say. <laughs> number three moment is going to encompass Jackie on about three different fronts. So number one of the WTF moments for Jackie, Jackie finds Junior in the hotel. Know that he's back on drugs, but she finds him via Jackie's I mean, via Junior's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Did we not know that she was going to find him before Aceto and fake-ass Eminem found him? Yeah. I knew there was going to have some type of confrontation sooner or later. Mm -hmm. um, 
and she confronted him with the information that she had right. that you know you had something to do with. With uh, was it Krista? Krista? No, she knew that he dumped the body. He dumped, yeah. I don't yeah. think she knows that he actually helped kill Krista. No, he he she doesn't believe that. Yeah. But she knows that he had he had something to do with dumping the body of Sherry. Sherry yeah, is Sherry. The, Sherry is the body that he, he dumped, dumped Sherry's body. Right. But he didn't confess or say anything to her about Krista. Which she until gets that knock on the door, uh -huh. and then he said, "These are the dudes." Who you don't want to be dealing with. Mm -hmm. These are the people who can hurt somebody. He still didn't say who. Mm -hmm. So that leads me to my other top five WTF moment with Jackie. She decides to talk and become allies with Officer Savaho, who had jokes from the beginning. They give you guys fish guns, whale guns. <laughs> He ain't in no place to talk. Right. He ain't got a lot of room to talk. Right. And when they formed that alliance, she let him know that a big black dude and a young white dude, he whips out the picture, shows who a Cito is. She's like, yeah, that's him. Right. And so now they're on the hunt. They're chasing down that forerunner. They never find it until later on in the episode when they find a the forerunner at what looks like it was a hotel, but it was an apartment complex. Mm -hmm. Homeboy... Hispanic or whatever he was, Dominican Republic comes out. He's not talking to Officer Savajo. Renee, apparently Black Lives Matters or Latino Lives Matters because she wasn't having him trying to call immigration to deport him. You mean Jackie. Jackie, right. Uh -huh. She talks to him and he lets her know where he really got the car from. Uh -huh. How did you feel that whole inter that whole interaction went down? Uh, it... it it shows that Jackie is a is an integral part of that team. Mm -hmm. So I think they realize that they can't get far without her, and she needs them as well to, you know, go on this mission of saving and redeeming herself. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So she got a critical piece of information that they needed. Mm -hmm. Tied up a loose end right. by helping them know that okay, this is Junior with a Cedo, mm -hmm. and now that they found Homeboy, they know they know where Junior. And Aceto might be escaping, which leads to our number two WTF moment. Yeah. Aceto, what's going on, man? You talk to the cops yet? Oh, man, please, come on. Aceto, you ain't got to do this. Aceto saves Junior and shoots fake-ass Eminem. Mm -hmm. Did we not see that coming? Right. I mean, he was getting on Aceto's nerve the whole episode. Whole episode, because he has no ethics. Yeah. He was in there talking. When they went in there to him up, Junior's baby mama. Mm -hmm. He's in there talking about when the doctor, when the Shut doctor up. delivered my baby mama's kid, I told him to stitch that pussy back up. And she's looking at him like, you gross MF for yeah. ill. Make it tighter is what he said. That's what he said. I know. And, 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 and Aceto though. heard that. And Aceto's looking at him like, you crummy, grimy, blah, blah, blah. Then they walk outside the building. He's still talking that dirty crap. And we know Aceto plays chess. So Aceto's thinking, how are you going to be one of my henchmen and you have no ethics? You're doing your own thing. Right. So then they get Junior. They go out to the woods. Me and you, Ben, said Aceto ain't going to never kill Junior. We said that. Not with a direct blow. And instead of killing Junior, Aceto turns that gun, shoots up fake-ass Eminem to have an alibi with Frankie. Mm -hmm. How do you think this is going to go down between Aceto and Frankie? Well, Aceto declared that he's going his own way. I mean, when was it? I can't remember when it was in this episode when he said, Frankie's on the inside. I'm out here doing all the work. So that was when get Frankie. That was when they left um, Junior's girlfriend house when he was talking to fake ass Eminem. Yeah. 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 So Aceto's doing his own thing right now. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know when he's going to make the a formal split from Frankie, but he was just saying, screw Frank Frankie, I'm in charge. Um, and this guy has been going, trying to, trying to get on his level. And when he telling him you work for me. Yeah. And he keeps trying to usurp his power. And he kept he, telling him. Even throwing jokes in there. You know, you, you, you know, fat jokes yeah, and everything. There's yeah. a certain way you have to joke with your superior. Uh -huh. You can't joke about something that they might be insecure about, mm -hmm. you know. You might can joke about they got rained on because it's rainy outside. Or you might can joke about the color of their car being ugly. 
But something personal like that, you can't joke about that. He did that. it a few times. Yeah. You know, see, though, he didn't, didn't blow nope. up or nothing. Mm -hmm. He just took notes and, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. keep it up. That's right. <laughs> and that leads us, ladies and gentlemen, to the number one WTF moment. And I'm sure you all had this as your number one moment, too. Junior is found in the bathroom at the bus depot OD. I said OD. I didn't say dead. Because I think they want us to think he's dead. Now, me and Crystal have discussed this. That we feel like Osito, because we know he plays chess, not checkers. We feel like Osito knew Junior was not going to get on that bus and go to Miami. Mm -hmm. And when he gave him that stash of money, we both feel like Osito knew Junior was probably going to either take his own life in OD or go somewhere in OD anyway. Mm -hmm. But then that leads us to this. Do you think Junior is dead? Uh, I think it would serve the storyline mm -hmm. a lot more or, you know, it would serve the storyline better for him to be alive. Right, right. Because then you would have Frank in jail mm -hmm. mad that Aceto didn't carry out the orders that he told him to carry out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he was, if he was still alive, mm -hmm. but I didn't see Krista's death coming either. Right. So I don't know. I think they can go either way, but... If I had to bet for the storyline, I would say that he's still alive. Me, personally, I saw Krista's death coming, even though I didn't want to. Junior, I just refuse to believe Junior's dead. I refuse to believe it. When Aceto was standing at that bus stop, me and Crystal said, Junior's not getting on that bus. Right, you knew, you knew he wasn't. We was like, he is not getting on that bus. And Aceto isn't dumb enough to send somebody who he knows is an addict mm -hmm. down to Miami to work with his people. Right. And he warned him and said, they don't work with addicts, so you have to clean it up. It's going to be your last time. When You know, good and well, when that came out of his mouth, he, he knew, knew better. Yeah, he knew better. He knew better. And he, then he going to say, I got to go get, I'm gonna get something to eat before I get on the bus. And Aceto's just like, okay, cool. And let it go. And you're not about to sit and actually watch him get on the bus. I think right. that was a, a setup. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, having said those things, ladies and gentlemen, those are our top five WTF moments. We don't believe Junior is dead. I believe Frankie's going to get released from prison on the very next episode, which is the last episode. Post your comments of anything you think we should have included in our top five. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe. Be sure to go check out the Life Game Reviews channel. That's where I'll be posting all my baby vlogs, what it's like being a dad. Anything you want to say in closing, honey, they're going to see how you deliver. What? They're going to see how you go through this delivery process. They're going to see and, what I deliver. And, 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 in case you process. say something crazy to me in the hospital, it's going to be on camera. No, it ain't. Yep. Uh -huh. Y'all watch. And until that next Sex is Hell video, <laughs> we'll see you.